the sunshine when you're down I am that super river flow I am the memory that you hold on to I am the psychic that won't leave Always a trick for you up my sleeve I am the mirror that you look through But you see What's up, Island Bunch? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Gabriel. I'm Rachel. And today we're doing the Q&A yeah. from the video of the thousand subscribers, all the questions that people left in the comments. So we'll answer all your questions today. There we go. So the first question is from Jimmy Gallagher. And uh, Jimmy's question was, what is our favorite sports team? For me, it's the Zambia national team. Chipolo Polo boys. <laughs> they lose all the time, but I still love them. Not all the time. They won that uh, championship. The Africa uh, Cup, that's right. Yeah, that that's right. Ago. But they will lose most times, but I still love them. What's yours? I have a couple. It just depends on the time frame. So I've always liked the, the college basketball, the Tar Heels. And then... When Michael Jordan was on the Bulls, I always liked the Bulls with Jordan and Pippen. It was always Jordan and Pippen. The next question is from Metian Vlogs. Did you have any negativity from the Zambian community towards your relationship directly or indirectly? Not that I can remember at the top of my head. I don't think it was directly. Every once in a while you'd get someone who would stare or something or, yeah. or people would past comments that I wouldn't hear or they would be speaking to you and Bemba about hitting on you and that so I wouldn't understand. <laughs> Am I right? Sometimes. But yeah. you can read body language. Body language is a majority of it so it doesn't <laughs> matter what language you speak. Family, friends, everyone seems to be okay. Yeah. I mean, it hasn't been too bad. Yeah. The hmm. next question is from Natota Umfula. Hi Natota. Thank you for watching. Hi. Um, I want to hear the proposal story. It's a very sweet story and I'll let him tell it. Uh oh. Uh, I don't know the exact day or anything like that. I do. But yeah. So do you want to say it? No, no, you, you tell it. You tell it. I just, I'll tell the date after. Uh, I remember I had to leave and then I came back. When I came back, we were in the bedroom. Wasn't it in the bedroom? What were we doing? So I just picked you up from the airport uh -huh. with my brother. Go. <laughs> Pick me up from the airport mm -hmm. with your brother. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And then from there. I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. It was very sweet. What? How could you forget? So you had been gone. So it's a very funny story. Yeah, it took a while. He was an illegal in Zambia because he had overstayed. He, uh, was done with work, he was supposed to be back here where he was coming for a job, but he had to, he, he had overstayed. I had, I had overstayed and we went to the, the immigration the, in Dola. Yeah, and they and denied, they denied me and said, how quick can I leave? Yes. So, so that your given, country kicked me out. <laughs> they did, he was so given they gave seven, me seven days, days to, to leave. leave. Yes. And then and I left, and then I kept trying to find a loophole. There's always loopholes. Right. So I kept trying and to find a loophole, and there was a 24-hour visa I could get. His mom did. Yeah. So thank you, Grandma. After hours and hours and hours days, and even days of, of searching. searching how he could come back in the country. Mm -hmm. We were even thinking of, uh, I was thinking of smuggling her. <laughs> going to... <laughs> you forgot? He had all these crazy ideas in his head. Hey, it's love. So we picked him up from the airport, my older brother and I, and he was like acting really nervous. And I could tell he wasn't himself because Gabe is never nervous. So he tells me to put a blindfold on and I blindfolded my eyes and he's like walking. Oh, I wish I had this on video. He's like walking me around the house. I didn't know where we were. And then we end up in my bedroom. Yeah, I said and the bedroom. Then, yeah, but you skipped like the whole thing to the bedroom. And then he's like, okay, now take the blindfold off and open your eyes. Mm -hmm. And then I opened my eyes and he was down on one knee and he proposed. I had the ring. I carried that thing all the way through every airport. I didn't airport. even know I didn't care about that my he phone had the ring. Like, I'm so excited with what he had brought from the mm -hmm. States and everything. I didn't even know he had a ring in his pocket. So That's that what I did for my whole month was uh, get that wedding ring. I got the 
best one I could get. So I hope that answers Natota's first question. Then mm -hmm. her second question is, did you stick to some African traditions for your wedding? That one's a tricky one. So we kind of haven't done the, the full wedding, which I still owe her. Yes, he does. And we're gonna, planning on doing one in Zambia. We're going to do it. It'll probably be a renew your vows slash here's your wedding. All right. Um, and then we haven't even gone on our honeymoon. And we, the last time we tried to do this and we were so ready to mm -hmm. do it, I got pregnant with our third. Yeah. Well, Surprise! Fourth. Yeah, <laughs> she really wanted to be here. So, yeah, that, it is going to happen. It just hasn't happened. So it was, it was a little ceremony at the council? Was it yeah. council? Yeah, yeah, we got married in the council, in the mm -hmm. court. Uh, question three from Natota. Was there any different types of stress planning your wedding since you're an interracial couple and family live in different places? So because we didn't have a wedding yet, yeah, it, there was no was, bridezilla. There was nothing. Like there was nothing stressful about it at all. We have a, a very interesting vlog that we're gonna do about the day we got married, and mm -hmm. you guys will probably we even got original pictures. You guys will be shocked. <laughs> you guys will mm -hmm. be very shocked. So the next question: She loves you. Where would you like to travel together? You want to say this together? One, two, three, go. Jerusalem. Jerusalem. <laughs> And then Egypt. Yes. Those are our two dream destinations mm -hmm. uh, that we would like to travel together. And that was a good question. Thank uh, you. We, we both like history. Yeah. So we both want to go to where the start of, of things kind of were. Uh, yeah. The next question is from Casey Birchfield. Hi, Casey. Hi. Rachel, were you always attracted to the opposite race? Not really. I feel like people are just people. But this guy is the one who just happened to steal my heart. So, yeah. That's how it works, baby. Okay, so for Casey's second part, I think he had some misspellings on it. <laughs> It'll be kind of the same question to me. Have I always been attracted to the opposite race? Yeah. Um, and I, I just based it on the person. Yeah. So it was always, you know, it didn't matter what race, nationality, religion, any of that stuff. It was, you know... Do I like the person? Is their personality good? And are they funny? And, you know, are they pretty, of course? I mean... Oh, thank you, babe. Alright, the next question is from Sheila. She's Walt. Hi, Sheila. Hi. Who said I love you first? It was him. It wasn't me. I don't even say <laughs> I love you. I just it go. was him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was like... Very hard mm -hmm. for me to say that first, but he's very, he wears his emotions on his sleeve. So, but if you have to say who's the one that realized it first, it was her instantly when she saw me. Oh my god, <laughs> you can tell just the glassy look oh in the eye. Oh my gosh, yeah, her being Twitter pated. Yeah, okay, yeah, babe. that's what I'm talking about. The next question is from. Naomi Glory Mono. Hi Naomi. Hi Naomi. For how long have you guys been together? So we answered that question in the How We Met video mm -hmm. and it's seven and a half years. We're actually going on eight years. Can you believe it? Seems like one year. For how long did you guys stay in Zambia before moving? Uh, it was... Two years. Yeah, two yeah. years. Yeah. Two and then 2014 I came back. And then I moved here. So thank you everybody for the lovely questions. We hope we got to answer each and every one. We went through all our comments and made sure that we got all the questions. Mm -hmm. well, if you have new questions or anything, just go ahead and drop them us. below. Yeah, we might do a new uh, Q&A. We'll do a part two probably. That's right. I'm sure there's more questions. So thank you again for the love. Thank you again for the support. Please don't forget to like this video. Share it out with all your friends and family. Subscribe. Hit the, hit the bell button. And that's right. And make sure you join the Barley Bunch. So today's shout out goes to Naomi Glory Mono. Naomi, thank you for typing here in our last video. Mm -hmm. And if anyone wants a shout out, all you have to do is comment below. Just say here and we'll be sure to give you a shout out. Yeah, thank you, Naomi. That's if you subscribed. <laughs> That's actually our daughter's middle name. Yes, she's Natasha so, Naomi. Mm -hmm. so, thank you, Naomi. Oh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye. Byerly's out. <laughs>